today we're just going to do a uh, sit down, chat, get ready with me. Um, I haven't really done one of these in a minute and I really just wanted to. I took a nap with wet hair on the couch. I don't know, it was just so comfy. I was like snuggling with all the dogs and then I just fell asleep. And yeah, we're gonna talk about sleep. We're gonna talk about fall. We're gonna be talking about it all. Everything I will be using today is linked. They are affiliate links, so I earn a small commission. I give this description, I give this disclaimer like every time, but I do earn a small commission with everything. Um, we're gonna be using the Peanuts Profusion um, trick or treat palette again today. We're gonna be doing a more like orangey neutral look. I realized first that I have not really talked too much about how my vacation went last month. It was beautiful. Um, we went to Clearwater Beach, which has always like had a special place in my heart. I absolutely love Clearwater. We used to go there when I was little and we went this time. We rented a VRBO and honestly it was so fun. Um, spent a lot of time on the beach, got pretty tan, like I have tan lines. <laughs> I normally never do. Um, I did. We went shelling. We went on a dolphin boat tour. We went to Disney for a day. Like we did a lot of fun things. And I think um, I've never like admitted this before. Or I was really like taking care of my mental health, which I would love to just like go in. But also, I just I'm not ready yet. But I would love to do that at some point, way down the line, maybe. I'm not going to lie to you, um, I really struggled coming back from vacation um, as I've gotten older um, because I have very severe depression. And wow, we're just going to get right into it. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, I talked about this in my Tati kind um, podcast video, whatever. I really struggled a lot in my life up until about a year ago. One thing that always really sucked was I, something that was part of my depression is that I really wanted to just pack up and start a new life. I wanted to move to Florida and I would still love to do that. Um, but I kind of looked at that as like my escape and I saw vacation as my one form of happiness. Um, side note, I did use the Essence Fix and Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer and then I'm gonna go into the It Cosmetics um, matte CC cream. And so when I would come back from vacation, I would get very emotional. Um, I would cry. I would become very depressed afterwards. So oftentimes, you know, on my channel, when you would see, you know, oh, I'm back from vacation or whatever, I would often go on month long or more hiatuses because I would be so, for lack of better words, I would be so depressed that I couldn't even really like function. I struggled very, very hard with that. This time when we went on vacation, I was like, oh my gosh, like I, I was kind of nervous because I, first of all, I didn't want that to happen again um, because I felt like my life was in a very good place and I was concerned that that was gonna happen again. And something that I think Logan, I think my husband really struggles to understand that. Um, but he's, he's, he's understanding more. And so, especially when we left Disney, okay, because uh, we only had one day, we did some park hopping and whatnot, and it was just so fun. Such a great Disney day. I didn't feel sad. I had this mindset of like, I'll be back. I don't know when, but I definitely will be back. And it was just this whole new mindset that has come over me. Um, about a year ago, I began very intense mental health treatment. And I feel like, I don't know if you can tell or not, because sometimes, I mean, you only see a sliver of my life as it is, but I, but I really can tell in my videos about like who that person is that is talking to you in videos versus who they were a year ago. Because the person I was a year ago was struggling hard and, so back to the vacation, you know, I was bummed to be leaving. You know, I was like, oh man, I don't want to go. I had so much fun. Another half of me was like, I can't wait to go home and do X, Y, Z and see my dogs and whatnot. And like, and I've never felt like that on a vacation before. 
We got so much beach time. Uh, it was just so fun. I had such a great time. I did beach yoga, um, which if you go to Clearwater Beach, the Hilton does every does beach yoga classes daily at 8 a.m. Eastern or 8.30. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> but anyways, they were so fun. Show up early. That's my recommendation. But it was so nice. On my first day, on our first day we were there because um, we got in like super late the night before and I got up. I went to beach yoga. Uh, by the way, I'm using, I use the Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer. Then we're going to go in with the Flower Beauty Low Light Liquid Contour. So I go to yoga. I'm in like just like a nice little t-shirt and shorts. Very light and whatnot and I was so excited because I hadn't really seen the ocean yet and when I got there I just saw the ocean I just was like wow this is amazing there was a rainbow it was just beautiful and afterwards I was like I'm gonna walk along the beach on the way home and I took off my shirt and I just went in the ocean my sports bra and <laughs> my shorts and it was just so cool and I absolutely loved that kind of vacation I feel like you know, I don't think Logan and I are going to go on vacation again for a little while, obviously. I'm just going to let you know when you see influencers online going on a trip every month, that's not normal. <laughs> and so I could see us doing, I don't know, I feel like I could see us doing like Seattle, Vancouver. Um, I could see us doing like California because I've always wanted to go to California. I could see us doing Tennessee. Yeah, I don't know. So, um... That's kind of where I could see us going on our next trip if, you know, if and when that comes. But I think we're going to be chilling for a while. And I'm okay with that. Um, I'm just kind of enjoying my life now. And with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. And then I'm also going to top it off with just a little bit of the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Pink Gasm. So we're going to combine these two a little bit. So absolutely fun vacation. It was really fun to drive across the country, even though I don't know if we would do it again. <laughs> it was definitely an experience for the books, that is. Um, we just had so much fun. You know, Logan and I are both very busy people. And, you know, we um, Logan has a consuming job and, like, I have YouTube. I do a ton of YouTube. Um, I'm busy, you know, we often don't get to spend like a lot of like one-on-one -on -one time together except for like, I don't know, a couple times a week. You know, Logan's a teacher and he coaches a lot. So he's gone at games and whatnot and stuff. And so during the school year and so we really, it was really nice to just like drive for 24 hours and like talk and just like jam out to music and like it was so fun. We stopped at the Shed Aquarium in Chicago. It was so fun. We drove through Louisville, we drove through Nashville. Well, we stayed the night in Brentwood. Um, that that was just a beautiful hotel we stayed at. It was so cool. We went to Bucky's a couple times and we, we love Bucky's. <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> I mean, Logan was like, I, I yeah, I'm gonna talk about this more, but I'm trying not to eat meat anymore. And you know, I Logan was like loving the, like the brisket they were they had. Was it brisket or was it just like I don't know? He was like having sausage on a stick and like all this stuff from Bucky's. And like being a Midwesterner, we don't get that stuff. If you, we have Quick Trip, I guess. And people like they we they worship the Quick Trip here. <laughs> and let's just say. Bucky's could eat quick trip for breakfast. <laughs> okay, I'm just using a little bit of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I love the way my cheeks are looking. I'm gonna be using the Powder Puff Technique. So yeah, I've also kind of decided like I don't really want to have a meat-based diet. I've, all, I've never really like liked a lot of meat. Like I don't like cheeseburger. I don't like beef. Um, I don't eat cheeseburgers. I don't eat steak. Anything like that. To be honest, the only thing I will eat are like chicken tenders, okay, and ham. <laughs> That's literally all I'll eat. I don't want to give away my location because I I want privacy. In my town, we have a meat factory. Not well, in the neighboring town, we have like a meat factory. I'm a very emotional person, and I have seen way too many like trucks with like turkeys or chicken or whatever that will come in and I cry every time. I literally cry. 
I kid you not. I've like been like, okay, what contribution is my enjoying a little bit of meat here and there like good for society? You know, I already fi have eat alternate sources of protein. And so I just kind of realized that like, you know what? I don't really need to eat meat anymore. So I'm just not gonna. And if I'm like really craving it, like if I'm getting like a PMS craving and like I desperately need it or I feel like I'm gonna die, like, yeah. I mean, if you're a girl, like, you feel me on that. I have not been sleeping well lately. I have had really poor sleep habits for the past couple, uh, past month or two. And, you know, I have to try and like, set a boundary, but it's like, it comes a point where I'm like, I don't want to go to bed because I still want to do like my coloring or I still want to journal or I still want to work on my knitting. I know. <laughs> um, and that's always been like kind of hard for me. Um, side note, I went in with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, one of my all-time favorites, and then I used the Anastasia Glow Seeker Highlighter in the shade Sun Idol, just for a little extra glow. So that's kind of like where I'm like really struggling, and I'm getting there. I realize I, I do take a medication every night to help me sleep, which I started, I want to say, last October is when I started it, and I felt... A lot better because I I really was struggling with sleep about a year ago and when I started taking that I felt like I was starting to get back on track so I think it's part of like me like I need to take my medicine sooner and so I was thinking like for this week because I always like see use this week as like okay what, are, what do I want to do for this week what changes do I want to make and so on and this week I'm going to really prioritize my sleep. I think that means having a reminder at like 9 p.m. every night to take my medicine so that it can make me tired <laughs> and if you're like me I really struggle with seasonal affective disorder which is basically seasonal depression. Um, I really struggle with that. Part of the reason why I've always like said that I want to move to the south, I want to move somewhere where it doesn't snow, it, that's because I I genuinely really struggle with winter. So I'm going in with the Kosas, what is this, Airbrow, and I really struggle with it. If you have any tips, you know, I have the happy light, I love that, but how do we beat the beat? The winter blues how do you beat them um i do like to find a lot of indoor activities um i love occupying my time with like coloring and that kind of thing but i feel like i need something more i'm going to be doing a lot of yoga this winter you know it is september so i think it is important to plan this now versus like being in it you know i also don't think the time change helps i think if I think if we didn't have like daylight savings i think i would also be in a better place. We are going to be using the Profusion and Peanuts Trick or Treat palette. If you saw my review, I will link it down below, but basically I was using it and then my eyeshadow was disappearing. Kid you not, I would blend and it would disappear. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. My last look was like all purples. This one's gonna be more orangey and overall neutral. And kind of going back on the topic of seasonal depression, I'm also gonna be at a better job now and so I think that is also going to help. I have a job where I literally feel like they run their employees ragged. At my new job they really don't. Like I I absolutely love where I am at. To say I'll never leave I don't know but I feel as if I have a much better work-life balance. I feel like I have a much more reasonable workload and so on. Okay, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, Falling Leaves. That's so cute. I'm just gonna go a little smaller brush. Very perfect for fall. Okay, this one is not blending into nothing, <laughs> but the purples were. I don't know. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange. Let's do a little bit of orange on my lower lash line, just for the heck of it. Just giving back like naked heat days, like <laughs> I'm using the shade Great Pumpkin. That is so cute. Makeup, I feel like is looking a lot better. I use this shade again because it just there's not really a lot of good metallics, and I love a good metallic on my eyes. So let's just use this. I'm overall just trying to find like you know what avenue my channel is going. Let me know what you guys want to see. Like, do you like the makeup content? 
I love makeup content, but I also, I'm being very mindful with my purchases right now because um, the sooner we pay off some debt, Logan has made an agreement with me and I'm 100% on board with it. He made a bet deal with me that if we pay off all of our debt, excluding our house, because <laughs> I'm like, we cannot pay off our house in like three years, like that, like we would be like broke. We wouldn't have anything else, right? He will take me on a trip to a place that I have dreamed of going since I was little. Oh, so I'm like, deal, let's do it. <laughs> Like, yes, I will uh, happily oblige. Um, and I think that's kind of a motivation. And so I'm really going to be cutting back on what I'm buying. And that means that, you know, every vlogmas that I've done so far has been like, you know, heavy on like beauty reviews and stuff like that. And it's not gonna be like that. My channel's really not gonna be directed in that way. I love the commentary content that I'm getting into. I do have a couple hundred dollars in Ulta points that I will 100% be using to get some holiday makeup. Um, before I go into mascara, I think I'm gonna do lips. I feel like I'm very bare. Got my lip combo. We are gonna be using the orange Frosted Flakes and Glam Light Lip Liner. We're gonna be using the Maybelline Lipstick in the shade Pleasure, and then the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Sweet Mouth. I think I'm gonna really gear my channel around that. I just hit 2,000 subscribers not too long ago, and honestly, I you're gonna see me lot putting a lot more like intentional effort into my content, which I already have been, but it is going to be a focus. I do really want to aim for five videos a week again, but I do know that I can get burned out, you know? I've been doing about four right now, and I think that's a that's a good place to be at right now. So that's kind of where I'm sticking. You know, if I do think that I can do five videos a week, I will. But I felt like when I was doing five videos a week, I felt like, oh my gosh, like I cannot miss a video. And I would feel so guilty for missing a video. And it's like, I don't really think anyone cares. <laughs> and so I really, I really just want to like, you know, kind of set that boundary a little bit. You know what I mean? So but but seriously though you guys you gotta tell me what you want because while i could think of video ideas all day you know i love hearing what you guys are gonna watch and whether that is pop topics pop culture pop topics online or so on i'm using the rose ink serum mascara and then the pacifica vegan collagen fluffy lash mascara so we're gonna be doing a lot of get ready with me is we're gonna be doing oh gosh what else are we going to be doing for vlogmas some reviews, probably a few vlogs here and there. Makeup organizations, like a makeup declutter will do. Makeup collection, perfume collection will probably end up doing too. I don't know, you know? Like I feel like the world is my oyster. The world is also your oyster too. So let me know what you want. <laughs> also, some of you have said to me in the past that you would love for me to do like a coloring live, literally where I go live and just like color from like my coloring books i'm down to do that i was kind of apprehensive at first because like i feel like i suck at like going live but i would love that i mean would you watch that on my ig would you watch that on youtube let me know you can tell piglet has effectively tucked herself in she is right here there's her face <laughs> i'm going to set my face with a little bit of the elf Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. But my look turned out pretty well with the Peanuts and Profusion palette. A complaint I have about this setting spray is that like, they say it's a shockingly fine mist, and I feel like I just like, it's so fine that I'm like, am I even setting my face? When it comes to my channel, I always want to be as open and honest about my life without, with, of course, maintaining a level of privacy so but I've always been a mental health advocate and you know if you're struggling like there is no shame in getting help and I hope if anything what I've talked about in terms of my mental health really inspired you or you just it just really resonated with you I hope it did and yeah I hope you guys have a good one I'll see you in my next video bye